overall, what we've seen is really illustrating that fit is super important when you're trying to protect yourself from airborne particles. So if you find a way to take a single surgical mask or a single, single procedure mask and improve that fit to your face, you will get a great benefit from that alone. We've seen as much as a doubling just from making the mask fit better to your face by tying a knot in the ear loops and tucking in the corners or having a device to pull the, the mask tighter like what I'm wearing now, something like that. These things keep the mask fitting tight to your face and really give you the added benefit of even from just a single mask. The chamber that we're using here in the EPA Human Studies Facility is actually represents a really great collaboration between UNC and EPA researchers. My colleagues here in the EPA are doing work with chambers and environmental exposures, so we've been able to kind of combine our research to look at how masks function, uh, how they filter particles out of the air, and how that may help reduce the transmission of COVID. So the way that the, the chambers work is we're generating particles inside of the chambers and having a research subject wear a mask and we're seeing how effective the mask is within the chamber at protecting the wearer from airborne particles. Three, two, one, begin. The types of tests that we're doing involve normal range of motion that you'd see at your job. So bending at the waist, uh, speaking or reading out loud. There is, according to legend, a boiling pot of gold at one end. People look, but no one ever finds it. But looking left and right and looking up and down. So far, what our research has shown is that N95s and things that are from the CDC that are approved, these are highly effective at filtering out airborne particles. A surgical mask or a procedure mask with ear loops, it's been a really good filter medium, but they don't generally fit very well to the face. So what we're seeing is that if you put a surgical mask or a, or a procedure mask with ear loops under another mask that fits well, so a cloth mask, for example, that fits well to your face, you can really see an added benefit in filtration efficiency. So there is a benefit to double masking in that capacity. If you put that surgical mask or that procedure mask under uh, and then the cloth mask over, you can get as much as a doubling or even more in the filtration efficiency. So a surgical mask that was at 35, 40 percent, when you put the other mask over it can be 80 to 90 percent in a lot of cases. I think it's important as people are moving forward into vaccinations to recognize that we can't stop wearing masks now. Now more than ever, as people are going and getting their vaccines, you can't let your guard down. These new variants are showing up across the U.S. We need to be vigilant about continuing to wear our mask and, and encouraging others around us to not only wear their mask, but to wear it properly.